In this demonstration, I will examine the three different types of 3D models, wireframe models, surface models, and solid models. Understanding the benefit of these three different types of 3D models, you will be able to select the most beneficial model type for your design requirements. Taking advantage of your ability to control the viewpoint of your model and its display mode, or visual style, enables you to convey your design intent far beyond what is possible with 2D drawings. Now I am using the Constrained Orbit tool to examine my models from multiple views. When I have set a suitable viewpoint, I can select a visual style that enhances my current design needs. Visual styles like realistic and conceptual are useful when display of your models is most important. Simpler visual styles like wireframe and hidden are better when you need to draw or edit as they give you easier access to object geometry. You can change the visual style you use in your drawing at any time. The constrained orbit tool is valuable when you need a relatively unstructured method for changing your view. However, sometimes greater structure is required. The AutoCAD View Cube is a persistent on-screen navigation tool. It enables you to easily switch between orthographic and isometric views. It also enables you to change your view by rotating or orbiting around your model. The labels on the View Cube display constant feedback as to your current viewpoint. In the View Cube settings dialog box, I can control the size, position, and options for the View Cube. As an added convenience, I can return the View Cube to its default settings with a single click. These settings are a matter of personal preference and do not affect the operation of the View Cube. Clicking a corner of the View Cube causes your model to display in an isometric view. Examining the cube faces and underlying compass, I can see this is the southeast isometric view. I want to be able to return to this view easily throughout my drawing session, so I will save this view as my home view. Clicking on a face of the view cube displays the orthographic view indicated on the face. The arrows above and to the right of the view cube enable you to rotate the existing view. Lateral orthographic views can also be displayed using the directional letters on the compass displayed beneath the view cube. When you cannot see the face or compass letter you need, you can click the arrows at the edges of the cube to rotate your view in 90 degree increments. For a 45 degree rotation, you can click an edge of the cube. It is possible to become confused or turned upside down when using the view cube. You can click the home icon at any time to return to the home view you selected earlier and reorient yourself. To make a more subtle rotation to your view, you can click and drag the compass letters or the cube itself. This takes a little practice to become comfortable with, but enables you to view your model from directions unattainable using the view cube's automatic view options. The view cube is a great time saver and it enables you to see your model from views that facilitate greater ease and accuracy of additional modeling or editing. It is a tool that is well worth the time to become familiar with and will definitely improve your efficiency as you navigate your 3D models. A primary benefit of 3D is the ability to visualize the design. However, as well as seeing the design better, you can extract measurements like distance, area, volume, and other mass properties from your design. With solid models, you can also check to see if other solid models or components interfere with each other. Once you've created the model, you can also generate 2D drawing views for documentation purposes. As you can see, a firm grounding in 3D modeling is essential in order to take full advantage of AutoCAD's design and display capabilities.